Moldova is a very nice country. Come to visit it. You're welcome anytime to Moldova. But it uh, didn't recover after the um, Soviet Union destruction, or how to call it, dissolvation. 45% of It's not easy. Not easy because in our society people think that uh, if a person, if he is the father in a family, he can or he may, he is allowed to beat uh, his children. But it's not so. Objective is to educate or train trainers to expand, increase and transmit for further their knowledge in this issue. After that, when participating to different seminars um, and uh, when discussing to other people, I discovered, I discovered things I learned there. I discovered that I knew things and they were not from school, they were not from my family, they were not what I read somewhere. They were from Lydia. Very interesting. And uh, this training will include <coughs> trainings on this issue, also cre creative teaching, also uh, knowledge on how to distribute information and how to deal information and how to reach and uh, to reach other people uh, and to involve other people. <coughs> Phenomena. It's very tragic that uh, domestic violence is a cause not only to trafficking but to a lot, a lot of other society diseases. It's a cause also to poverty. It's a cause to a lot of things. So we have to contribute. We have to find a solution. But uh, what is interesting is that church, and uh, I'm a member of a church-related organization, so church is not really active. So we are trying to, to demonstrate that church has also uh, has to be involved and has to do a lot of other things. Eight years of training programs on how to set up and run new community projects, we had three years of peer learning, going to visit projects with more experience and learning from one another and visits to all sorts of um, grassroots projects. And this last year we were bringing them together to plan for three new years of projects the new priorities and do the work across um, boundaries, which hasn't happened before, international projects and mutual support. The five new projects that have come out of this meeting that need support if they're going to happen include work with the elderly and pensioners, work with children who come out of institutions and have no social or family support for further education, street children who are going to have summer camps and perhaps centres if that develops and carrying the kind of training that the Lydia Project has done further using the new expertise that has developed in East Europe. And all of these can take place depending on the funding that they will receive which has started and which we hope will continue.